Hello, I'm Greg Rotcape, Rotcape Mods, and do you by any chance have a PC that happens to not support SSE 4.2? And do you happen to be running an NVIDIA card that is currently supported by the latest NVIDIA drivers, aka the uh, GTX 750 series or uh, the 900 series and later? And uh, you've noticed that your computer just started randomly blue screening after you installed uh, the latest drivers or Windows installed it for you. Well, that's the situation I've fallen into here. I've got a 3 comma 1 early 2008 Mac Pro right here, which has a CPU that does not support SSE 4.2. And uh, it's a bit of a problem because uh, Windows automatically updates the driver every once in a while. So if you're running Windows 10 or later, um, you will randomly get a blue screen and uh, the system will keep going into a boot loop until it finally gives up, tries to recover itself, and it will disable your graphics driver, which uh, is one way to get past it, or uh, you can go into safe mode and actually um, dis uninstall the driver itself, and uh, your problem solved temporarily. Well, uh, this system right here is only a folding machine now. It constantly folds at home. And um, it's, it literally does nothing but cranks out um, processes for folding. Which means this thing just runs and randomly gets Windows updates and crashes a lot. Because Windows likes to update and crash things. Well, I figured out how to fix it. And this has been a problem since at least January, uh, July. Um, and I just started realizing it now. And as we can see here, I've got an E5462 set in here, which does not support SSE 4.1. Now, if you have a, I mean 4.2, if you have a system that supports SSE 4.2, you can update the graphics drivers. Everything will be fine. Uh, you can even let Windows do it. But if you don't have any CPU, uh, and this is like Nidlaheim and later, so uh, the core I series or um, any Xeons past this series here. Uh, this was the last one that didn't support 4.2. Yeah. Um, I literally use this system just for folding, but if you're using this system still for gaming or something, that is because you do not have the population count um, drive um, instruction set on your CPU. And the pop count um, instruction set is in SSE 4.2. And so that's a bit of a problem if you've got an older CPU. NVIDIA has disabled it. And they started doing reports on this between July and uh, late July and early August. This is just one of the articles. And it literally says it here 750 Ti or 950 and later, uh, it, it won't work. And uh, that's a problem. How do you fix it? We need drivers um, five, uh, 550 or later, uh, or new, uh, older, uh, 550 or older. So you just download the release of a 550 or older, and it should work. But you've got to make sure it's 550 or older. Um, it might work with some of the later ones. They said up to 555 will work. Anything older than 555 anyway. But I went the safe route and installed um, 4. Point, uh, what was it? 4, 540, 546.65. I downloaded that and I installed it. But how do you fix it and keep it from messing up in the first place? Well, uh, first things first. You've got to be running at least Windows Pro. Um, so if you're not running Windows Professional, this isn't going to help you. But um, you can actually update by hitting change product key in the about uh, screen here. You change your product key right here. You type in your Windows Pro key and it will automatically update your home edition of Windows 10 or 11 or whatever you're using. And um, you can get a Pro key from any uh, key supplier. You can get them for between like nine and 20 bucks, you know, they're cheap. So I'd recommend doing Pro just anyway. But you update uh, to Pro first if you're having this problem. Um, and you'll probably, 
you'll have problems here, but uh, how you solve it is to keep from Windows updating. It takes a few days to update to the latest driver if you have a supported driver already on it. So if you've already gone through fixing everything, let's go to Device Manager here and go to Display Adapters. Now, when it been, it's crashing or whatever, uh, you go over to your display adapter here and you go to uh, uninstall device and you hit delete driver software for this device and you hit uninstall. I've already fixed my driver so it's not a problem. Hi, editing reg here. Once you do this, you want to make sure that the drivers don't install. So what you'll do is once you uninstall the drivers, you'll want to download the driver you were needing to install everything with. And uh, then you'll have to do the uh, check for hardware update so it re-adds it to Microsoft basic display adapters and then you run the installer with the internet disconnected and you want to make sure that internet is disconnected so Windows doesn't try to automatically reinstall the driver until you get your new driver installed. Once you're done with that uh, what you'll need to do is go to details section and go to hardware IDs and you're going to need this number right here. Now before you do anything with this number uh, I'd copy and paste it uh, onto something where you have that number. You will want to install the most recent driver that you have that will work with it. Right now I have um, six, uh, four, um, what is it, 546 uh, on it. So I'm, I'm good. So once that's installed, to keep Windows from updating, you need this hardware ID, okay? So first, have the driver installed, and then you need the hardware ID. You will go over to, uh, let's see here, uh, what is it called? I just totally forgot. Here it is. Group Policy Editor. This will only be on Pro and uh, higher uh, installs. So you can type in GP Edit and Search and then go to group policy. Now if you have uh, um, UAC uh, controls on here you will have to approve it, I don't. And, okay so once you're in there in the group policy editor you will need to go to administrative templates under computer configuration go over to system and then you'll want to go down to uh, let's see here device installation, do the drop down on that, go to device installation restrictions then you'll go over to prevent installation of devices that match any of these device instant IDs you go over to edit you'll hit enabled uh, mine's already enabled of course but you'll hit enabled and you go to show and you'll click on this copy and paste your ID that you copied from here into there hit OK and then hit apply and then OK again and it will never install any more updated drivers through Windows Update. Now you may get a Windows Update error saying it couldn't install the driver, just ignore it. Uh, you'll also want to make sure if you're do using the game ready drivers that Nvidia isn't automatically trying to install the drivers but either way it should fail and you'll never have another update, which the only drawback is um, if you're still running a game that's still getting updates and supports your CPU, um, graphics updates just won't happen anymore. Uh, but most games now require at least SSE 4.2, so that shouldn't be a problem. And that's how you fix your install. That's how you keep your system here running um, with your video card that happens to be uh, from a 750 Ti all the way to the 4000 series, which I really don't, uh, you, you really shouldn't be running one of those cards in the first place on something this old, but you can, and that's how you fix it. Uh, you can run up to the 470 Super, I think, uh, the 4070 Super on the older drivers, and uh, it will still work, but uh, yeah, uh, this is really if you have an old card uh, from like the 700 through like 10 or 20 series. So yeah, uh, that will solve your problem and you'll no longer have random blue screens and boot loops.
Uh, this will prevent all that and fix everything. And I hope this video helped you out. And uh, yeah, this was a quick impromptu video. I ran into this problem and I finally got fed up enough to look up why and how to fix it. I already knew how to fix it, but um, I needed to make sure first that um, it was what I was suspecting, which was the driver. And it was, and now that I have a supported driver, no matter what Windows updates Windows gets, it will no longer do that. And this will work on any copy of Windows 10, any OS that these drivers support, this will do it. Uh, Windows 10 tends to automatically install the drivers. Windows 11 also does too, but if you're running a CPU uh, that um, this error is happening on and you're running Windows 11, 23H2 is the last one you can go to because it needs the same requirement to run Windows 11 24H2. So you can't run 24H2, but you can run 23H2 and 23H2 Windows 11 will automatically update the drivers also and boot loop your system also. So that's how you fix it. Yeah, delete the driver, reinstall the one that actually supports it, like uh, this one here. Once you install that, you want to disconnect it from the internet, honestly. Um, but after you delete the driver, download the driver, install the driver, and then um, disconnect it from the internet, do all the uh, group policy edits here. Once you do the group policy edit, um, after the driver has been installed, you have to have the driver installed first. But once you have that installed and you uh, prevent it from updating anymore, um, you'll never have the problem again. And um, this system will still work until um, it dies, <laughs> basically. Even if you're not getting security updates, uh, you'll never get another, another graphics driver update and you won't have this problem anymore. So I hope this video helped you out. And uh, yeah, this was an impromptu video. In fact, it was so impromptu, I'm over in my kitchen right now and the camera is um, taped on to the tripod because I don't have my tripod mount. And uh, yeah, it's this is an old school style video. Uh, really janky if you saw how it was all set up. But yeah, I hope this video helped you. If you uh, if it did help you, please like the video, subscribe, etc., etc. And this has been a Rocky Mods video.